A few years ago, we made a potato launcher and had a ton of fun with it. Probably too much fun. We took it out to the desert and shot a bunch of random items and even figured out how to launch slime balls. However, after making what we were calling Darth Tater, we realized that we probably should not have made the potato launcher out of foam core ABS plastic because that type of plastic is not intended to hold pressure. So for this reason, we wanted to rebuild our potato launcher with the correct type of plastic and then get a little artsy and fill some potatoes with paint and create the first ever potato launcher painting. All right, the first step is cutting the PVC plastic to the right lengths. Set the number one priority. Sometimes number two or three, probably maybe. Why oh, the accent has changed. <laughs> Our. Set the number one priority. What we're doing now is we're measuring out our combustion chamber, and we're going to measure out one foot of our four inch PVC. We're gonna make this barrel uh, four feet. Boom. So this is the general assembly. So we have the cap to the combustion chamber, to the reducer, to the barrel. Now all we have to do is glue it all together. Who designed this? A very strong man. That is in there. <laughs> So the next step is we're gonna make our igniter. Now, the way that we're gonna do this is we're going to be using a grill igniter kit, and we're going to cut off one of the wires, chink, and then we're going to wrap it around so that it makes a spark between this guy right here and this wire right here. All right, the next step is I'm going to take that igniter and I'm gonna drill a hole right here. I'm gonna put it through that hole and then I'm gonna attach this nut on the back side of the igniter, which actually has threads on it. And then we're gonna glue around that hole just to make sure everything is airtight. All right, so while we're letting our potato cannon dry, we have to let that thing dry for 24 hours so all the glue sets. Uh, we're gonna paint our canvas and we're just gonna paint it white so that we have a cool canvas that we can see the splatter paint of the potato. So we've let it dry and it things have firmed up quite a bit. There's still a spark on the inside when we press down on our igniter, so that's good. The next step is we're going to take off this base plate that we created for Darth Tater and we're going to put that on to, we need to come up with a name. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and name this FN2187 because it definitely gives us these Stormtrooper vibes. Um, and if you guys don't know, that's Finn's serial number as a Stormtrooper. That's John Boyega's character in the last trilogy, which was really good. So, the Force, we had the Force be with you. What? You basically just want to be able to create like a serrated edge on the barrel so that when you, you can, when you shove the potato in there, that it kind of slices the potato as it rolls in. I'm gonna give it a test, and uh, we're actually gonna run our vacuum cleaner at the same time, so that it kind of like masks the sound, because from what I recall, it's pretty loud, but depending on what happens, we might just go out to the desert to finish this. Oh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> right oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. FN2187 is really powerful and also really loud. And so for that reason, we're gonna go out to the desert to finish this video because I don't want the neighborhood to think that we're like under attack. Also, it'll give us more space to actually have more like uh, freedom to put the painting further away or maybe a little bit closer depending on how powerful the potato smashes up against the canvas. I basically just don't wanna break the canvas. And so we're gonna build a couple extra items in order to sort of harness the power of our new potato launcher. And then we're gonna head out to the desert and do our painting out there. All right, so we're gonna fill up the potatoes now. And I've selected pretty much primary colors for this painting. It's gonna be windy through this process. Uh, audio wise, it's gonna be like this. Wow, that was crap. Because it's windy. All right, let's do it. So 
So we need to add more paint. That's uh, it's not enough paint. Oh my Literally God. perfect shot. We decided we want to try to figure out a way to get more paint on the canvas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a potato into the barrel, shove a bunch of paint and potato gunk in after that, and then another potato in, and then just fire the whole thing. It's gonna be kind of like a, a spray of potato green goo, we hope, we think. But that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> It's like, it's like a shotgun. Cut. She's loaded. Two, one. <laughs> what just happened? It like puked. Good Lord. We've been loading it up with paint uh, so that we could get just more paint on the canvas in general. And we just put a ton in there and tried to cap it off. And what we've learned is, is that if there's no pressure, it doesn't really shoot the paint. It kind of just like slow vomits, which is kind of what just happened. I mean, it barely made it, but it looks really cool. like throw up <laughs> came out like just oh gross wow this like not very orange all right so we want to wrap this painting up and what we're thinking is is we want to put some paint in a cup and then shoot the cup with a potato and see how that throws the paint onto the canvas so the first color we're going to work with is red it's definitely some like marksmanship right here Let's see what happens red <laughs> you miss? Literally, like hit and then spilled towards us. Oh gosh. It was a good idea. <laughs> it just wasn't well executed. We made a new potato launcher, we filled potatoes with paint, and then we fired them at this canvas and created a really cool looking piece of art. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, what would you name this thing? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon.